Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up a few more champions. Uh, in this video, we're going to be taking up three champions to rank three, which just prepares them for a rank four in the future. Uh, all three of these are potential rank fours. So, if you think you can guess any one of these three, leave a comment below. Try to guess one, two, or three of them. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. First one up is going to be Shocker. I know that probably shocks a lot of you. Okay, that was a bad one. Um, ignore that. Ignore that. Uh, but anyway, I have seen some nice things in this guy. Uh, I've seen some videos where he can really do some work. I like the fact that his special one, uh, I think it's only when he's awakened and, and um, a decently high sig, but the special one, one time, doesn't take any uh, power. That's really nice. And I need to learn some more about him. He seems really, really nice. Uh, as I'm fighting with him, just in arena, I have, uh, I, I like it. Uh, I've seen a stun from him. I don't know too much about him, okay? I have not looked into his kit or anything like that. Um, <laughs> you saw me right there. I had to turn that off because uh, my uh, the other game that I play, I was going to start getting notifications like crazy because they were doing a big event. Uh, but anyway, so we take him to rank three, possibly to rank four later. But we'll see. Right now, we're going to keep him at rank three. But... He's actually really good, and I might awaken him uh, with one of my gems. I'm not going to do it just yet because Kabam has uh, talked about this store that's coming. And while they're trying to um, set expectations low, I don't want to use any of them just in case they do have a trade-in for um, awakening gems. So if they don't, that's fine. If they do, then I want to be prepared. Uh, but he's definitely one that I would like to have awakened and uh, have a decent SIG uh, level on. All right, so he's ranked three now. Uh, you can take a look a little bit at his um, stats and all that good stuff. And I'm pretty sure I'll find a use for him. All right, so... That is the first one. The second one is going to be Wolvie. Do I need to tell y'all why I took Wolvie up? If you guys have been watching me for any length of time, you already know how much I love Wolverine. And there was no way I was not going to rank him up. Now, when uh, I just grinded for him in the arena... I thought about taking him to rank four. I watched another YouTuber, uh, Chris LaFleur, shout out to you. Uh, just today, in fact, um, I saw him, uh, I think it was in a video, uh, take his Wolverine to rank four because he loves Wolverine as well. And I'm like, hmm, that's a mighty sexy Wolverine he's got there. Maybe I should. But I'm going to try to calm myself. He is going to go to rank four. I don't know when, but he is going to right four. Uh, but right now, uh, I plan to awaken him. I definitely want to awaken uh, Wolverine. And I will start putting as many mutant Sig Stones as I can into him. He is to be used with Apocalypse and... I might even throw in Omega set, uh, Omega Red because he gets a good uh, synergy there. 
But Wolverine as a horseman of the apocalypse, he is a beast. And I will make a video uh, showing you guys just what he looks like as a horseman. He is by far my favorite horseman. Some people like Archangel. Yeah, Archangel as a horseman is pretty nasty. But Wolverine, he is, along with Spider-Man, my second most beloved comic book characters that I read growing up. In fact, it was because they messed with Wolverine that I started to lose interest in reading those comics. I had the X-Men comic, then Magneto ripped all of his adamantine out of him, and then they branched off. I even have that Wolverine series solo, and it looked like they were trying to, you know, reboot him, and it just didn't work. And I was like, no, he's not the Wolverine that I, I know and love. And I just kind of lost interest after that. But I've heard that they, I don't know, retconned it or whatever, that that wasn't really Wolverine. It was some double or, or I don't know what they did because I, I didn't read it. Um, but from what I understand, he has his adamantium uh, back. So, but this Wolverine, I really wish they made it his kit. If they ever do a rework, they need to give him some of the things that he gets as a horseman. And oh my goodness, that's all he would need. That's all he would need. And he would suddenly be a beast. Y'all see that? See how close I can get the T5 basic and take him to rank four right now if I wanted to. But I'm not gonna yet. But he is going up. Oh man, Wolvie, Wolvie, Wolvie. All right. So the last, last but not least champion that I'm gonna be taking up just to rank three is going to be Terax. So Terax is actually low-key good, okay? Um, I had him for a while, and he wasn't awakened. Then I got him duped. And I'm like, okay, I really want him to have a, a little bit of a higher SIG. And I believe, I have to, we'll, we'll see it. Um, I think he's a SIG 40 now. But what really kind of pushed me to it, not only is he good in Battlegrounds, but I'm seeing defenders like uh, Viv Vision placed on nodes where I really would like to have a shock immunity. Not only that, but there's another node where I need a bleed immunity. Well, he is both bleed and shock immune, and he puts out armor breaks when he's, you know, in that uh, mode there. I forgot what that mode is called even. Uh, and I might take him to rank four. That's often what I do. If I see somebody and he's really good uh, in some area, you know, like if he's going to be able to um, handle both those nodes, then I may as well take him to rank four and start dumping a lot of sig stones into him. Now, one thing that, that Kabam does that's really annoying, I did that for Nebula. And she rocked. Y'all saw me if you watched my, um, um, I forget which season it was, but I used her very, very often. And apparently she was just too good for certain nodes. And so they nerfed her. That's what they did. Um, they placed a node that specifically targeted to her. And then they even called it. 
They even said it, you know? So they're shock immune, you know? So that's something that, that Kabam can do, you know, whenever they want to. But because we have more than one game mode, ranking him up won't be a waste, regardless. Um, so of these three, I'm leaning a little bit more to him, but I want to check him out first in Alliance War. I have somebody else that I'm really thinking of taking to rank four, but I'm going to check him out first and see, you know, how he does. All right, there we go. So the um, that's his SIG level. I'm going to start dumping um, cosmic uh, SIG stones into him. Right now, I think he benefits most out of all of my uh, Cosmics. But I have good, good hopes for him. All right, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.